Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Leo for mid-month of November 2020. I am calling these my mid-month minis, so let me know if you like that name down below. Uh, you're going to get a quick heads up as to what spirit wants you to know for the rest of the month. <clears throat> and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I do have new videos coming out every single week, as well as the monthly, mid-months, new moon, and full moon readings. And I also go live on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also have five spots left for five spots left for my From Pain to Power mentorship. So if you're interested in even knowing what that is, you can wait till the end of the video and I will fill you in. All right, so let's see what's going on. I actually am going to clarify this for us Leos here because I'm like, I need some more information. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So we've got the five of cups as the overall energy. So really important to be focusing on the positive. Um, when I was shuffling before the magician actually fell on the ground. So this is about manifestation and the lovers was on the bottom of the deck and we have the lovers over here as well. So this is about really keeping your energy high, really keeping your thoughts in the right place because with manifestation, your thoughts are going to be what attracts your reality. All right. And creates your reality. So if you're focused on what's not going right, um, what, you know, didn't happen, that's you're going to attract and create more of that so you want to make sure that you're focusing on all of the positive things in your life rather than focusing on what didn't come out the failures in your life the expectations that didn't you, you didn't meet um all of that let all of that go it's all in the past and you can't change the past but what you can do is you can change the f the future and by focusing on the good in your life now is going to uh, reflect in your reality in the future. So you want to make sure that you're focusing on that as the overall energy. And a little bit about why you might be feeling and looking at this negativity in your life is because somebody might have done you wrong here, might have been a little bit shysty, definitely, um, you know, maybe a liar or a cheater, um, but somebody is a, in some dark energy around you. And I feel as though what they've done for you or done to you or Whatever decisions they've made around you will say have affected you and maybe, you know, this could be like a narcissistic person because I'm hearing gaslighting. So like they might have made you feel like you are the issue, you are the problem, and now you're like down on yourself because of it. But it's absolutely not true. And what the Spirit's telling you here is that you need to walk away from it. Um, but with the Eight of Cups for me, this is about walking towards something better. And it's not about letting go of something else, but it's like getting yourself out of the danger, getting yourself out. I call it the lion's den. Like when you're involved with a narcissistic person, it's the lion's den. So like, don't worry about what didn't happen or the relationships that are failing or falling away because you're walking towards something completely better. And with the page of wands here, I feel as though you are going to start to give yourself a chance because when you're in the lion's den and you're around people with this manipulative negative energy and they're gaslighting you, bringing down your energy, when you let go of it, that's when you can really shine and you're giving yourself that chance there. And we've got the, um, the, the nine of pentacles here. So this is the nine of coins in this deck, but it's really the nine of pentacles, which is my single card. So you might be single, um, but it's also like it, it says good fortune in this deck. So this is about bringing in good fortune, bringing in more of what you want. And in reality here, you've got the lover's card, which is soulmate and decisions. So when you walk towards you, does that make sense? When you walk towards you, because you're not focused on other people anymore, you're not focused on keeping the negativity in your life. You're focused on making you happy and learning about you and loving yourself. This is when everything starts to shift for you because you're now giving yourself permission to create the reality that you want and to create the relationships that you want here. So there definitely could be somebody coming into your life. Please remember these are general readings, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I definitely feel either way, you've got the single card and the lover, so it's kind of contradictive. But when you become single, when you let go of this, when you become independent, that is when the new can come in. This is what I've been saying from the beginning. When you create these, these positive thoughts in your life, this is when you start to create your reality. So just because you're leaving one relationship behind doesn't mean that there's not another one following it. Okay, so 
definitely with the lover's card, this can also mean connection to the divine. So as you start to heal yourself, as you start to walk towards yourself and really put focus on you, you can also strongly connect to the divine energy to connect to your spirit guides, your higher self, and all of that. So definitely, um, either way, it resonates. And it's going to be both. Like, even if you get into a relationship with a physical person, <laughs> a physical human, um, you know, you're still going to be working on yourself. You're still going to be healing because you've walked away from something that wasn't good for you. And that's the best decision you can ever make. Oh, I love it. So definitely some of you, this is going to be the divine energy. So if you're, if you're wondering why you're not, you're not connecting to your spirit guides, if you're wondering why you can't, you know, open your psychic abilities, this is why it's because the people around you or some negative situation around you is holding you back from that. Okay. Because you've got the creation card and this is like a manifestation card here. This is the crown chakra. This is your connection to the divine. You are powerful, powerful beings. And you are, with just the power of your mind, able to manifest and create your reality. And we really, really want you to focus on that <clears throat> and really sit with that. Is that just with the power of your mind, you can create your reality. It's amazing. And it's so true. All right, let me know in the comments below. Um, I want to know, like... When have you created your reality with just the power of your mind behind? Let's let's get some inspirational stories down there so that people can read them and really, you know, um, our brain likes to look for things to prove our beliefs right. And if you believe that your life is always going to be the way that it is, um, that's what it's going to be. It's always going to be the way it is. But if you believe that you you have the power with your mind to create your reality. If you see all these inspirational stories below in the comments, you're going to start to see like, wow, it is true. It is true. And we start to shift that belief in our mind. Okay. So let me know in the comments below, like when has that happened to you in your life before with just the power of your mind, you actually changed your reality. All right. Let us know. All right. Um, I hope this resonates with you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you are interested in my From Pain to Power mentorship, this is an eight-week deep healing intensive program um, to really help women heal after toxic relationships. We dive deep into the childhood. We um, identify and shift subconscious beliefs that were formed through whatever childhood you've been through, whatever you've been through in your childhood. So if you're constantly feeling like you are not enough, you have trouble setting boundaries and enforcing boundaries. You feel like people walk all over you. You feel like you give, 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 um, but never really receive that type of treatment back. Um, this this uh, mentorship would probably be for you. You can find out if you're a good fit for it with in the description box or in the comments below. It's just a little questionnaire there that will tell you if you're a good fit for the program or not, okay? But really important to focus on your thoughts for the rest of this month of November. And like, I, I can't can't get the words out that they're trying to um, say to me here, but like, it's time to choose you. It's time to be selfish. It's time for you to be the priority in your life. I think that's what it is. It's time for you to be the priority in your life. And it's okay to let anything else go here. Somebody had a very similar reading. I can't remember. I can't remember who it is, but definitely it's time to let people around you that are bringing you down fall away. It could have been Libra as well. Um, yeah, I think it could have been Libra. But anyway, so make sure you hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification to get notified when I do go live um, and when I do have new videos coming out. So much love to you, Leos. I love you. I am a fellow Leo, so I love this for us. Um, I would love new relationships, new connections coming into your life. So definitely leave a comment below, inspire us, and maybe you'll even meet new friends down there, all right? So much love to all of you, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.